Why am I so hard on myself? Hello, this is Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. How are you? How was your weekend? Hmm, how was mine? I, I actually had a nice time with my job. We were um, at Navy Pier for a Christmas luncheon. I found that to be lovely. <laughs> Nothing better than being with a group of empowering women. We are either counselors for young women, students, ages, um, well, in grades 6th through 12th, or either some of the employees that were there were upper management leadership, all amazing women, all ages, all ethnicities i love it girl power i hope you had a good weekend as you gear up for christmas i can't seem to get into the swing of things i gotta get it together definitely will be doing some shopping and gift wrapping this upcoming week well i wanted to speak about why am i so hard on myself have you all noticed that sometimes we go back down memory lane and we just beat ourselves up? And sometimes we don't even have to go that far. It's current things and we just beat ourselves up. We think about the choices we made as a parent. Some of us, I'm not a parent, but I'm just going by hearsay. Uh, maybe didn't pick the right, you know, mother for our kids or father. And we just say, I, I'm horrible as a parent. Or uh, maybe we gained a little COVID weight. God knows I did. And we just beat ourselves up over the weight gain instead of possibly doing something about it. What can I do to get some of this weight off of me? Can I substitute um, this food for that. Um, can I, this is what I do at school. I'm on the third floor. Okay. I don't take the elevator. I take the stairs. Those are extra steps that I need to take. We can do better, but sometimes we beat ourselves up. Maybe we stayed at a job too long. Oh, I should have left a long time ago. What was wrong with me? Instead of putting in the resumes and actually trying to leave, or I should have went back to school. And that one's a sore spot for me because they really made education a lot easier than it used to be back in the day where you had to attend class. Now it's online, and I just feel like that's more convenient for some people. I prefer in-person learning. But um, online works too. And online is kind of, it can be kind of hard because they give you a lot of work both ways. But online seems like they really lay it on you. Nevertheless, you can get this degree now. And even if you have been working for quite a while or a few years, some of that work experience can be transferred over as an educational credit. Before you beat yourself up, Please, everyone that's listening, give yourself some grace. We've all had a rough time with COVID and it's been rough. COVID has been rough because we had to be isolated from family and friends. Inflation has hit us now. Some people lost their jobs. God bless. Some people lost relatives or even they were sick and have the lingering effects of COVID on their lungs or their breathing. So we really need to all be really gracious to others. But we have to remember to be kind to ourselves. This is where the self-care comes in. What can you do for you? I love CVS and Walgreens. They have those masks that you can buy, facial masks, aloe vera, and different types they're like three, four bucks, but it's like a spa day at home. Or like me, I love getting my nails done. My sisters and I, or really me and my older sister, my grown niece, we all, we'll do a nail appointment all together 
and it's just a really uh, sweet time. But now that winter has come, we haven't been going. But so I do my own feet when I can't get there. I have my own little spa, you know, tub for the feet. And um, I pour my Epsom salt in there with lavender and other stuff, lemongrass oil, and give my own self a pedicure. What can you do for yourself? I'm big on my meditation. I have my journal right next to me now. Um, Self-care. And if you're having trouble like managing your calendar by me being a therapist, not only that though, my first job is busy too. So I swear by my calendar. Um, I already ordered my 2023. I have pink calendars, by the way. I love pink for some reason. Um, and so last year, my appointment book was pink 2022. Now I have another one. I bought a better one for 2023. But that's my um, guide for the, the year. It keeps me focused for that day. I also put my appointments in my Google calendar. So between the two, I pretty much have a, a pretty good gauge on what I'm going to be doing for the day. It keeps me focused. A part of my self-care, which you don't need to be because they keep me in a frenzy, but it is watching the Bulls. I try to watch most games if I'm at home, which usually in the evening time, a lot of times I am, unless I'm out. Um, but that's therapeutic for me during that two hours, 90 minutes. No, it's more yeah, about two hours or more, unless they wanted to go into overtime like they did last night and lost. Um, it's a little longer, but while I'm watching the Bulls, I'm, I'm in a zone, you know, I still do stuff. I might be doing my laundry or, you know, cooking here and there, but I still enjoy that time for me. And this past Christmas season, I've been watching so many Hallmark and different Christmas movies. I think I've seen so many and I keep watching them, but I enjoy the love stories, you know, so give yourself grace, give, be easy on yourself. When you find yourself going down memory lane and saying, oh, I should have been married by now. Oh, my God. Uh, why did I do this? And why didn't I do that? Give yourself grace. And you know how they say, there shouldn't be there shouldn't be any regrets. Well, I have regrets. I wonder, do you all? I wish I hadn't got married that young. And I wish I had went away to a HBCU school. Um, is that right? Historically black. HBCU. Oh, God. Yeah, I think that's right. I wish I had went away to, I wish I had went away to college for sure, but also to a, a, a you know, a HBCU school. So it's not, I wouldn't say those are regrets. It's just if I could do, you know how they say, if I could do things over, these are the things that I would do. But that's a good statement. If I could do things over, well, we probably can't do things over. I don't think we can, <laughs> but we can change things. If I could do things over, well, what can I do now to make my life better? If you are the, um, the age of 25 and listening to me through 90, it's never too late. Don't think like, oh my God, I wanted to be a singer but it's too late for me. No, it's not. With the independent labels, with um, these various platforms, with social media, you can still do your music. It may, you know, doing your music, it doesn't have to be Grammy level. Um, it doesn't have to be mainstream. This is where people get tripped up. Do your music anyhow, because that's your joy. Even if you're older and you can cook really well, and you're like, I should have had my own restaurant. Cook. Maybe sell your meals to people. Get, get somebody young. Me and my god sister know about this. Get somebody young and have them put your stuff on Instagram. Any young person, they are weird. Most of those pe those kids are younger people. They're not kids, but to me they are. They're younger. They are whiz kids with social media. They will help you. We have to stop glooming and dooming ourselves and acting like because we are a certain age that this is the end of the rope for us. Simplistic motivation, my girl. 
she has um I, I think I'm saying this correctly if you're listening, my friend. She has grown kids and she does her YouTube channel and that thing is the bomb.com. Hustlers. He has several channels. Scully, these are all my friends on here, and my pandy. All of them, they are like so motivating, small YouTubers, but doing big things. So don't don't think you can't do your own YouTube channel. Do you have a cell phone? That's how I do all my stuff. I do my podcast through my cell phone. I do my videos through my cell phone. And, you know, it's been a lot of fun. Don't beat yourself up. Give yourself grace. What about the dating thing? I know because I'm, I'm with you guys. You know, I got a divorce in 1999. I never thought I would still be unmarried these many years later. But it's okay. And, you know, like I told my girlfriend um, from Cali, that's who I talk to a lot. We were talking and I said, you know what? I'm going to use this time to keep better in me. So now I'm on this whole kick for 2023 to really, you know, examine my finances and what can I tighten up? And I, I got the book from the Budgetista, and I, I started reading it. Um, I got the physical book coming, but I did the Kindle sample where you can read quite a few pages until my book is here in about two. It might be coming today, you all, today or tomorrow. Nevertheless, it's a very good book, and it just made me put everything on spreadsheet. I want to know all of my interest rates. You know, I want to know what I owe, and um, I don't have. A ton of de- my dad is student loans, and I have a truck, and I have credit cards, but it's not outrageous. It's 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 manageable, very. But I could tighten that up. Okay, I'm 52, retirement, whatever age I choose. It's the beauty of retirement, and I need to make sure I have this amount of money socked away. What about the emergency stash? At least start with three months. You know how they say have six months. Okay, calm down, everybody. Start with your three months. And that's what I'm working on, all of that. So, you know, no, I don't. I, right now I'm in between relationships, but this is my time. My goal, my goal, please let me get this done. Uh, probably this week, I want to buy me a new guitar. And I want to focus better on playing the guitar. I, I learned how to play very lightly, but I could do better. Um, I could do better. So that's my goal for me. And don't beat yourself up if you're single. Use that time wisely because when your man comes or when your lady comes, they're going to cut into some of your time. But don't beat yourself up. Just enjoy your life and and live your best life and give yourself grace. And when you feel yourself beating yourself up, replace it with some good words. I am actually freaking amazing. I am a good looking guy. I am a beautiful woman. I am a caring person. I am kind. I am smart. I am funny. I am great. I dress sharp. Look at my hair. You know, anything you could think of that makes you feel good. Um, I know someone posed a question to me a couple of years ago or more. One of my friends, do you ever feel like you're not enough? No, that's just not something I don't think of. Am I not enough for who? For what? I'm enough for me. And when you own that and embody that, it really increases your confidence. Don't ever dummy yourself down. Don't ever say, I'm not enough. I'm not enough for what? All of us are on a path. Everybody's path is unique. There is something about you that somebody else cannot duplicate. You are amazing. And once you embody that, I'm telling you, you're going to feel so great. And Joe Osteen, I tell you, I swear by that quote, balloon where you are. What my good friends tell me, I tell me I was happy being single. Now she's been married 20 years and I'm happy being married. You got to bloom where you are. Yes, it gets hard as a single woman. Sometimes it's a little confusing. That's the best word I could come up with. It's like, how the hell did I get here? That's what I tell myself sometimes. Like, what? You know, I, my parents were married many years. My two sisters are married. My grown niece is married. And then I'm like, huh? But this is all by design, and this is my time to shine. This is Tammy time. So until God says otherwise, I'm going to bloom where I am. And I just want you all that's under the sound of my voice to give yourself grace. Don't beat yourself up. What can you do for 2023 to reach your goals or just have a good life? It don't even have to always be about goals. Just to have a good life. 
and don't beat yourself up. When you find yourself beating yourself up, replace it with some positive words. I hope something I said helped you all. Thank you, new subscriber. I think your name is Karen. I do believe. I hope that's right. I appreciate all of you all so much. God bless you all. God keep you all. And of course, I'm going to be back with more information. Have a beautiful day. Bye.